Hi, my name is Caitlin Coles and I'm the Integrated Pest Management Agent for Lubbock and Crosby Counties. And I'm Blaine Reed, I'm the IPM Agent for Hell Swisher in Floyd County. And today we're going to talk about scouting for the sugar cane aphid, which is a relatively new pest of sorghum here on the High Plains. So aphids are really small insects that use their piercing sucking mouth parts to suck plant juices on the undersides of leaves and this is where you're going to find their colonies. So when you're scouting for aphids, one way to do it is to get down on the ground and lift up the leaves and look underneath. So you can see here that we have some small aphid colonies forming on the undersides of leaves. Another thing you can look for is patches of honeydew or aphids excretions on the tops of leaves. So you can see here this shiny stuff is aphid honeydew on the tops of leaves. Another way is the whole plant method, and you can cut off the entire plant and hold it up close and look for the aphids on the undersides of leaves. And this ensures that you're looking up close and finding those aphids underneath the leaves. So when this uh, aphid will arrive, and because they do overwinter on the high plains, that can be at any time, but we do suspect they might act uh, much more like spider mites and uh, uh, be later in the season after the sorghum has booted out, uh, as the plant might be producing sugars that are better for their diet, or perhaps they just might uh, uh, be able to reproduce more rapidly at that time. This aphid uh, likes to start at the bottom part of the plant, so when we're scouting the plant, we need to start down low, looking those leaves over, and as those colonies increase and, and and, uh, grow quite rapidly with their massive reproductive capabilities, they can completely cover the plant from top to bottom. Now their damage isn't going to be similar to a green bug or the yellow sugarcane aphid, which we've had in the Texas High Plains for quite some time. Uh, while they do inject their saliva, it's not nearly as toxic to the plant, and you're not going to notice that visible damage as much. So it's going to be a little bit tougher. They will make uh, quite a bit of a pile of uh, a distinctive honeydew or stickiness under their colonies as they have specialized digestive systems and they're pulling plant sugars out of the plant. The sugars they don't need uh, wind up down on the plant covering it, which can also cause secondary problems, but it can be a cue as to where those aphids are going to be in the plant. In terms of damage, uh, they are, of course, robbing nutrients that are going to the head, especially in those massive numbers that the sugarcane aphid can produce. Uh, another secondary that we've noticed here in the High Plains, and we haven't got to nail down completely exactly how much it is, but uh, when they are robbing so much from the plant, they will be pulling uh, nutrients, etc., from the stock, which will uh, weaken that stock and can cause lodging later in the year.